Yaim Hilal, you are the most helpful neighbor in the entire neighborhood. Please tell me Yaim Hilal. Is not your name Hilal? Yes, my son my name is Hilal. Is it a strange name? Not at all. My name is Ramadan. Yes, I know my son. As you know, Hilal always comes before Ramadan, meaning that the Hilal appears before the start of Ramadan. Hence, we always say Hilal Ramadan. This means intuitively that I am your father. Don't you need me to adopt you? You always have a unique sense of humor that makes me laugh deeply at Ramadan, but I have a different suggestion for you. What is that? As you know, I am Arbaggy. I work on my cart that is pulled by the most kind donkey ever. So, why don't you adopt me and the donkey together to become the father of the two donkeys? Absolutely no. Because I want to enlarge and diversify my family, my counter suggestion to you is to adopt you, the donkey, and my mother-in-law to become the father of all kinds of animals or Abu el bahaim God bless your heart your Ramadan. Apart from your enlarged barn, what is your career nowadays? I work in the field of investment in bonds. Because the distance to our destination is too far, and the train is so slow, why don't you talk to me about the investment in bonds? Okay Yaim Hilal. Please don't hesitate to ask me when you face a difficulty to understand. First of all, a bond is a contractual agreement by an issuer to pay an amount of money called the face amount at a maturity date plus interest at the stated rate at specific intervals. An investment in a bond is a financial asset. Thus, investor may elect the fair value option FVO. Absent this election or proper classification as a trading security, a bond is classified as held to maturity or available for sale. How an investment in a bond is recorded in the purchaser's books? An investment in a bond is recorded in the purchaser's books at the present value of the bond's two cash flows, discounted at the interest rate prevailing in the market at the time of purchase. I am really, really totally confused your Ramadan. Could you please explain what is meant by the present value of the bond's two cash flows you just mentioned? Yaim Hilal, your question is good and valid. The present value of the bond's two cash flows means that the present value of a bond is composed of two components. 1. The present value of the annual cash interest. Annual cash interest equals bond's face amount times the stated rate. And 2. The present value of the bond's face amount received by the holder on the date the bond matures. Is a bond purchased at its face amount or, or, or a different price? If the bond's stated interest rate differs from the market interest rate at the time of purchase, the price paid will not equal the face amount of the bond. In this case, two scenarios are there. One, if the bond's stated interest rate is greater than the current market interest rate at the date of purchase, the purchase price is higher than the face amount and the bond is purchased at a premium. 2. If the bond's stated interest rate is less than the current market interest rate at the date of purchase, the purchase price is lower than the face amount of the bond and the bond is purchased at a discount. Please note that an investor in bonds rarely uses a separate premium or discount account, instead recording the investment at a historical cost. Of course, I need two examples for the two scenarios mentioned earlier. But for, for the purpose of this session, could you please give me an example for a bond purchased at premium? Assume that an investor purchased an 8%, the stated rate, 5 years, $5,000 bond, the face amount, when the prevailing interest rate in the market is 6%. The present value of $1 at 6%, the market rate, for 5 periods is 0.747, and the present value of an ordinary annuity of $1 at 6%, the market rate, for 5 periods is 4.213. You are required Yaim Hilal to arrive at the cost of this bond to be recorded in the investor's books. In addition, you are required to determine whether the bond was purchased at a premium or discount and in what amount. You know your Ramadan that I am our baggy, and I still need a better understanding by means of exercises. So, please answer the questions. As I mentioned earlier, the present value of the bond is composed of two components. One, in our example is the present value of the bond's face amount. Multiplying the bond's face amount of $5,000 by the factor of 0.747 mentioned in the example produces $3,735. 2. In our example is the present value of the annual cash interest. Multiplying the bond's face amount of $5,000 by the stated rate, by the factor of 4.213 mentioned in the example produces $1,686. $5,000 by 8% by 4.213. Thus, 
The amount paid to purchase the bond or the bond's total present value is $5,421, being $3,735 plus $1,686. Because the face amount of $5,000 is less than the amount paid of $5,421, the bond was purchased at a premium of $421. Journal entry in the investor books should be, debit investment in bonds for $5,421 and credit cash for $5,421. After we have our dinner in the train's cafeteria, I will request you to give an example for a bond purchase at a discount. Without offense. I will pay for the dinner, because I am our baggie, and I absolutely earn much better than those engaged in investment in bonds.